everybody, my name is Shauna Stacy, and I'm here to talk to you tonight about two things that are near and dear to my heart. Dating and the most romantic movie of all time, Shaun of the Dead. Now I have to admit, I've caught some flack about this presentation. A lot of people don't see this movie as a romance. They see it as a horror or a comedy or a buddy flick. I'm sorry guys, this isn't a buddy flick. This is a rom-com zom. The tagline says it all, a romantic comedy with zombies. The movie opens as Liz, Sean's girlfriend, is explaining her frustrations about their relationship. She wants to see some changes. He commits to making those changes, and when he fails, she breaks things off. He then proceeds to get drunk with his best friend, swearing up and down he's going to make a change. Unfortunately, he wakes up the next morning to a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> the first time I saw this movie, I fell in love with the characters, with the jokes, with the story, but mostly with the transformation that Sean undergoes. So what did he do that was so impressive? First, he got off his ass and he made a move. <laughs> Guys, I know it's scary to call a girl and ask her out. Commitment is scary, marriage is even scarier. It's designed to be terrifying. That's what makes it so valuable. <laughs> what happens if you don't go after what you want? You get friend zone like David here. He's in love with Liz and dating her best friend. He proves to be a coward in a lot of other ways and meets a really unpleasant end. Don't be that guy. Part of the reason it's so scary to ask a girl out is because you don't know what to say. The best way to combat this is to have a plan. Sean faces his fears by coming up with a plan to get his friends and family to safety. It's not a perfect plan, some people die along the way, but his intentions are good. <laughs> most importantly, he's willing to take a risk for things that matter most to him. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. A man with a plan is attractive because it means that he cares. Liz is frustrated. She's been waiting, asking, and not getting. Sean lacks ambition, or sorry. Um, <laughs> she wants to feel loved, and Sean lacks integrity. So what is integrity? Integrity is about following through. If you fail to show up on time and keep commitments, even small ones which add up over time, we feel unwanted, we feel unsafe, we feel unloved. And it all trickles back to that inner cave woman who is constantly asking, can this man protect me? Integrity shows up in everything you do, your eye contact, your speech, and even the way you move. We can spot it from a mile away, and it is irresistible. <laughs> At the beginning, uh, Sean's life is kind of a mess. His roommate comes down on him pretty hard, telling him to sort his leap in life out. There's a lot of reasons for this. For one, he does not know who he is, and nothing has challenged him to figure it out until now. Later on, there's an incident with his mom. Throughout the story, he comes to her rescue again and again. When she dies, he weeps openly. This is the moment in the movie where Sean becomes a man in my eyes. He's got all this pain and reality bearing down on him. There's nowhere to run and hide. And he does not run and hide. <laughs> he accepts it. He lets it in, in front of everybody. At the beginning of the movie, Sean is just a regular guy in a big, scary world. And <laughs> by the end, he knows who he is, and he's willing to take a risk with the things that matter most to him. If Sean can do it, anyone can. Ladies, if we want our men to make a first move, have a plan, have a vision, we have to be team players. Most of the time, we are just critical. I've been especially guilty of this in my own life, but there is a cure. I challenge each of you to consider the statement above and apply it in your own lives. When you're frustrated or you're angry, own that desire. Admit to what you want and be ready to defend why you need it. Compliment attempts, reward successes, rinse and repeat. <laughs> if this presentation tonight does nothing else, I hope that it challenges you to realize that you do not need a zombie apocalypse to know what you want and who you love. You may have to do some things that scare you. You may have to confront your inner demons. You may have to sacrifice things that you thought you wanted. But if you love someone, don't wait. Tell them today. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. <laughs> if you're curious about the movie, visit shawnofthedead.com. If you're curious about anything I've discussed, meet me outside and we can talk more. Until then, good luck in love and in life. Thank you.